Good morning. Our gallery hymn this morning is number 361. 361, Be Still My Soul. 361. Our gallery hymn number 361, Be Still My Soul. Be still my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Be patiently, the cause of grief or pain. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today is the memorial of Saints John Fisher Bishop and Thomas More, martyrs of our church that we may be prepared to celebrate the sacred mysteries we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ the mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the martyrdom have brought true faith to its highest expression, graciously grant, thus strengthened through the intercession of Saints John Fisher and Thomas More. We may confirm by the witness of our life the faith we profess with our lips. Shall our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me. For I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preach another Jesus than the one we preach, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you receive, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. <clears throat> Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plunder other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supply my need. So I refrain and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your works, O oh Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his works, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your works, O oh Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hand are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Your works, O oh Lord, are justice and truth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
you have received a spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, king, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Each day, we also have our own particular way of praying. We pray to the loving Lord the way we use to pray, and in the matters of which we could also be comfortable in our own prayer as well. Many times, there are lots of people who would seek spiritual direction, and one of the basic questions it is, how to pray. We share our own personal struggles and how it is for us to connect to the loving Lord. And sometimes there is what they call the dryness of prayer. And thus, we are always reminded of the many things, unfoldings in our Christian faith. The struggle for prayer and to connect our own self to God has been years in the past been addressed by our Lord Jesus Christ. The Our Father, the prayer that he taught us on how we're able to connect to his Father, Jesus just simply have given us a prayer suited for this, that we may be able to truly put our own heart, that particular connection to his Father. As we always know, Jesus would always tell that he is one with his Father. There is no other person who could ever teach us that. How can we be able to connect ourselves to our loving Father? The prayer that Jesus taught was just very simple. It is very usual of which we could always look within our own hearts. The relationship of Jesus to his Father and us being thought by Jesus himself, we are able to find vivid and clear ways to find that particular connection. May we deepen our relationship with the Father in such a manner Jesus has taught us, has led us because he is the begotten Son of God. The Lord's Prayer leads us to the greatest commandment to love God with all our heart and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Taught by Jesus, let us pray with confidence to the Father. Father, take charge of the sanctification of your name. Do not allow us to misuse your name or co-opt it for our purpose. Do not allow us to distort your divine image, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayers. May we acknowledge the, the primacy of your presence and your will in our life. For where you are absent, nothing good can come out of what we do, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Give us food we need for our daily sustenance and to place our concern in your hands. Make us generous in sharing our bread with the hungry. For you intend the fruits of the earth for all your children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May there be mutual forgiveness among us, for we have forgiven, you have forgiven us first, and your forgiveness rests upon our willingness to forgive others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Do not let, do not let us fall into temptation. Let us hold on to our faith, even when threatened or induced with worldly pleasure, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For Raymond Furtner, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, may we pray with our hearts the trust in you and not with the babbling of our lips. May we direct our eyes to you above to the horizon of our world as we strive to work for our needs and live in peace with one another. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 526, 526, Gift of Finest Wheat. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to heat. As when the shepherd calls a sheep, they no one heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of honest Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to heed. With joyful lips we sing to you, our praise and gratitude, that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You, you satisfy the hungry heart with good and as sweet. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of light to Pray, may the brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give the thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Thomas More and John Fisher, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on our feeble bestows strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. So with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed the little Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your force and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Had a Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
As you go to the sea and the homebound, take that all the sacraments were celebrated, but also the word of God was heard, as well as the affection of this parish community, as for the prayers of those whom you to visit in turn, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. We are going to peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending for him is number 317. 317, Blessed Feast of Blessed Martyrs. Blessed feast of blessed martyrs, holy women, holy men, with the love and admiration, greet we your return again. Worthy Jesus, they wrought and wonders, worthy and singing, honor them for uh -huh. 